Hey, what's up guys? It's Grotesque. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on Black Ops Cold War. So if you guys missed yesterday's video, we came back and revisited Cold War in 2022 and it was actually a good bit of fun. It felt refreshing, so refreshing in fact, that I actually wanted to come back and make another video on it today. And yes, at the time of me recording, Double XP is still going on in Vanguard and I should be grinding that, but... Like I said, I just had a lot of fun yesterday. I want to come back on here. We're going to get some gun game wins. I have no idea what it is, but I've been craving just to play like old style party game modes like they used to have back in like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 and stuff like that. And again, that's why we're back here playing gun game on Cold War because it's the most recent and most alive COD that actually has party game modes in it because for some reason Vanguard doesn't even have like a gun game or any other party mode yet. Like the the call of duty devs you guys sleep on the fun aspect too much like sure later down the line like season four season five the lad infected gun game sticks and stones but for the first couple seasons it's all just like tdm and stuff like that not i get it it's fun it's fun to grind camos and just play like that way but we need more of these fun modes and we haven't had new party game modes or new crazy modes like drop zone and stuff like that like new innovative modes in a while we just had like You've had your controls and your patrols, and it's... Alright, here we are. Gun game on hijacked. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. My accuracy is doo-doo right off the bat. It doesn't help, literally, since yesterday's video. I have not played at all. I've, uh, I've been playing Darksiders, actually. I played Darksiders all freaking day yesterday. I did not play any more COD after making that video. And I must say, it's a really fun game. It's like a mix of uh, Zelda, God of War, any other hack and slash from the 2000s. It's a pretty good time. All right, come here. There we go. All right, we got like three different guys out here. They're just kind of picking each other off. I'll wait a sec. There you go. You're down. There's somebody right out here, I believe. Yup, he's just sitting AFK. That's a free kill for me. Another guy just spawned in back here. Gonna pick him off, and then I'm gonna get shot in the butt. Come on, mate. Oh, wait. Oh, God, I thought I thought he was AFK for a second. He was just sitting in the back. That's such a random place to sit. Why would you... Oh, now I see, because he's picking people off as they spawn in. Great. There we go. Another gun kill. There's somebody right over here. This guy's actually AFK. We're gonna take him out. Uh, duck and weave. Come here. Oh, no. No, we got multiple people spawning. If he runs around this way, he's dead. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, no. We got a guy coming from that way, though. All right, all right, all right. It's, just, it's free kills. It's free kills. <laughs> You're gonna die. Nope, I'm gonna die. I got a comment the other day uh, asking if I'm gonna check out Elden Ring, and I really want to. The problem is, I'm freaking broke. I can't even afford a loaf of bread right now. The only reason I was able to even afford groceries last week was because of uh, the people donating monthly over on Patreon and stuff like that. Like, that's literally the only reason I was even able to afford groceries. So, as much as I want to check out Elden Ring, unfortunately, it's going to be a while until my financial uh, situation is a bit better. And by the time I do even get to check it out, the buzz will be dead around it. But hey, once I do finally get around to being able to, like, afford the game to check it out, I will most definitely make videos on it early least give you guys my thoughts on it as much as i've always wanted to play uh, a souls game or a souls born game and like actually try to see it through the whole way i just can't man like i i'm i'd like to think i'm an above average gamer for the most part like I, i'm a pretty good gamer like i finish games quicker than most i finish them more efficiently or with less deaths than most like considering the fact that i literally spend every single second of every single day playing video games i would hope that i'm good at it you know what i mean but um the thing with souls games for me is i'm good at them when my patience is at a decent level you know what i mean like when i'm actually willing to be patient and play through the way it's quote unquote meant to be played then I gen generally do pretty decent, make decent progress. But the thing is, I just, I can't stick with that style. Sometimes I like being more aggressive and just kind of going for it. You know what I mean? Like uh, we got top three, but yeah, I don't know. When I tried Bloodborne, I had a bit more luck with that because that game does kind of more lean towards the more action-y approach with uh, kind of motivating you or making you want to attack enemies more, especially since you can get your health back uh, from enemies that take away your health. So say an enemy hits you, if you hit him within a certain amount of time, you'll get some of your health back that he took from you. Like, I really like aspects that la like that that, like, encourage fast-paced combat however the thing is that game still does take a good bit of strategy and knowing when to dodge learning movements and you know what just patterns and stuff like that hey that's the thing with souls games it's very much about like patterns and knowing when to do this that and the other down to like perfect frame like the perfect frame but yeah with all that just to say i i i, I will get around to checking out elden ring <laughs> all right so we got top two last game this time i want to get a win yesterday it was funny in yesterday's video we played a match of gun game got top three 
This last match we got top two. This time it's first place. I'm calling it. If we can, if if we can find a match. Also, at the time of me recording this, we just hit 250 subscribers, and we have hit that before, but we lost some subscribers. We went down to like 245, bounced up to 249, went down to like 247. But finally, we're at 250. Hopefully, we stay there. By the time that this video goes up, we'll probably be back down to like fuck like 240 with my luck. But seriously, guys, even though these videos sometimes only get zero views or sometimes they get 10 if I'm lucky, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a very small amount of views, but I don't even care. Anybody that watches the videos for even a second, I seriously appreciate you taking time out of your day where you could be doing anything else to just watch my goofy ass playing some Call of Duty or whatever game we're playing that night. You know what I mean? Like, I seriously appreciate it. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. I know it's only 250 subs, but it's a subscriber. It's a subscriber goal closer to achieving the dream and the dream is just being able to do this full time i've been waiting for so long to find a match literally i've been waiting for so long why can it not find a game this game is not that dead i know it isn't i've sat through all the different pings that it searches through i've backed out i've went back in multiple times i'm not kidding when i tell you guys it's literally we found one other player in the 10 minutes I've been waiting, we found one other person. Are you kidding me? I'm not leaving you guys off with only one pitiful game of, uh, you know, gun game. So we're just, we're just gonna go against bots because literally I cannot find anybody else. So there it is. I'm not kidding you. I literally waited in that matchmaking thing for about 10 minutes and I literally only found one other person and I don't want to just play one little game of gun game in the video. I want to give you guys a little bit more, you know, gameplay to watch. So... Well, we'll play against bots. Hopefully we can at least secure the win that I was going for. Let's see if we can finish this game flawless. We're going 3-0 right now, so I'm pretty hopeful. If I die to bots, I'm uh, I'm going to be pretty sad. Got a guy in the house. Thank you. Got multiple guys out here. Pick him off. Pick They're just staring at each other. I mean, I'll take it. Another guy over here. Thank you. Got a guy... Somewhere around here. He's popping up on my mini-map. They're aiming at each other. They're not shooting, though. It's okay. There we go. Are we going to get our first flawless gun game win? I'm going to put that in the title too, just to clickbait everybody. I mean, it's not really clickbait if it actually happens. Because even though it's against bots, I mean, it would still technically be flawless, right? Oh, da da da. You thought you had me. Okay, you know what, snipers? This may actually be where I die because uh, the M82 ain't it. Okay. Oh, got a quick scope. Come on. No, this isn't where I die. This is... This is not where- okay, I was about to say, if I die to a bot just because I have to snipe, that would actually be tragic. Got a knife. Come on. What- what else do I- oh, ballistic knife. Do I gotta shoot him? Okay, there we go. Victory. Flawless gun game. Dude, what a legend, man. This guy literally 20-0. Well, I apologize for not being able to find, like, an actual online game of gun game for that second match. I have no idea what happened. The matchmaking just completely bugged out, so, you know, that kind of takes me off, but it is what it is. So, I gotta say- and still got the win so that wait what oh my god dude my freaking as i was talking it popped up and said something about size limit reached so now i'm really irritated if you guys are seeing this then it's okay that means none of the footage got corrupted all of it was actually saved in my phone but if not then that means uh i just recorded a whole video and lost all that footage but i'm gonna pray that's not the case so i'm gonna wrap this up get that edited and hope everything's okay as always a shout out to the patrons karma's fave grandma and little booty tap please remember to go down below like subscribe turn the bell on if you enjoy the video there's a link to all my social medias in the description if you want to follow me outside of youtube i'd really appreciate it well i'll see you guys back here tomorrow at seven I upload daily so yeah see you guys then thank you for watching love you all peace